how many slaves are working for you? Don't scroll by. You need to hear this. It's the International Day for the Abolition of Slavery. And this is one of those topics that just really suck to talk about. We don't like to think that modern day slavery has any impact on our lives. And because it goes unseen, it's really easy to turn a blind eye to. Today, I'm asking you to watch this video in full and take it in. Because you and I are part of the problem. But maybe we can be part of the solution too. So let's go back to that first question. How many slaves have you got working for you? The answer might surpass your expectations. And regrettably, it likely will. Regardless of our attempts to shop and live ethically, the harsh reality is that we all play a role in perpetuating modern day slavery. Whether you own items like this, wear these, or consume food, you are interconnected with the chain of modern day slavery. This predicament is worsening. The Global Slavery Index, a report on modern slavery, reveals a troubling surge in its prevalence since 2018. This escalation unfolds against a backdrop of escalating conflicts, widespread environmental degradation, climate-induced migration, a global erosion of women's rights, and the socio-economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. Depressed yet? We're just getting started. Let's look at the stats. There is an estimated 50 million people worldwide enduring modern slavery. And if you think it's not happening in your country, sorry to pull the blinders off your eyes, but you're wrong. Make no mistake, this is a global crisis. The figures in the United Nations data reports include 24.9 million are in forced labor and 15.4 million are in forced marriages. Modern slavery affects 5.4 victims per 1,000 people globally, with one in four victims being children. Out of the 24.9 million people trapped in forced labor, 16 million endure exploitation in the private sector, such as domestic work, construction, or agriculture. 4.8 million face forced sexual exploitation and 4 million endure forced labor imposed by state authorities. Money, of course, the green god we strive for is the driving force behind slavery, particularly forced labor, making it a lucrative enterprise. The 24.9 million victims of forced labor contribute an estimated $150 billion in profits. As long as monetary gains remain a potent incentive, addressing this pervasive issue will be challenging. According to the Global Slavery Index by Walk Free, these are the 10 countries with the highest prevalence of modern slavery. This information underscores the intricate interplay of global crisis contributing to the persistence and growth of modern slavery worldwide. Feeling hopeless yet? I know I was when I read through these statistics. So what can you and I do about it? How do we hold our governments and corporations to account when the impact of modern day slavery is on such a global scale? Where profits over people echo everywhere, from big corporations where we get our phones and computers from, even to our local grocery store with its agricultural supply chains. Here are several steps the average person, you and me, can take. Raise awareness. Stay informed about the issue of modern slavery and human trafficking. Share information with friends, family, and on social media to raise awareness in your community. Support ethical brands. Choose products from companies that are committed to ethical and fair labor practices. Research and support brands that have transparent supply chains and are certified against slavery. Be a responsible consumer. Make informed choices about the products you purchase, considering their origins and production methods. Reduce demand for products that may involve slave labor by opting for fair trade and ethically sourced goods. Engage with companies. Reach out to companies and inquire about their supply chain policies. 
encourage businesses to adopt and promote ethical labour practices, advocate for change, support and participate in campaigns and organisations working to combat modern slavery, like the A21 campaign. Write to elected officials urging them to prioritise anti-slavery legislation and policies. Educate yourself. Continuously educate yourself about the complexities of modern slavery. Share resources and information to help others understand the issue and its impact. Volunteer. Offer your time and skills to organisations dedicated to anti-trafficking efforts. Volunteer at local NGOs or shelters that support survivors of trafficking. Report suspicious activities. Be aware of signs of human trafficking and report any suspicious activities to law enforcement or a human trafficking hotline. Promote fair hiring practices. Advocate for fair hiring practices in your workplace and community. Encourage companies to implement policies that ensure fair wages, safe working conditions and employee rights. This International Day for the Abolition of Slavery, I encourage you to stop looking the other way. Acknowledge the awful truth of our role that we play in the lives of our fellow men, women and children whose lives are being played out right now under the bonds of slavery. If not, but for the grace of God, we are so fortunate to not be in the same circumstances. It's quite humbling to think about how different my existence is to others and how in this modern day and age we continue to allow slavery to exist in any form at all. Together each of us can play a crucial role in the collective effort to eradicate modern day slavery and promote ethical practices in various sectors. Together we might just be the change in the world we want to see.